Christopher Ray. It's a combination of Jim Comey and uh, Christopher Ray. Christopher Ray was testifying before Congress yesterday, and a couple of times he got really upset. He got really upset with the questioning. Well, that's just too bad. But one of the things we did learn about this was exposed by Representative Tom Tiffany. Listen to what uh, Christopher Ray says. Here we go. Oh, where is it? Where is, oh, I got to turn that on. Here we go. I'll get it. Here we go. It's always a result of the actions of James Comey, the disgraced James Comey, and the FBI. They've interfered with the elections in both 2016 and 2020. Will that interference happen again in 2024 by the FBI? The FBI is not going to be interfering in elections. They did in 2016. Well, I, I don't know that that's what Mr. Durham found. Yeah, what I would tell you is. again is that it was conduct that I consider unacceptable and unrepresentative. You can be in denial if you want to. I'm not in uh, denial, Dr. You can be in denial on this. That's exactly what happened. Thank you. I, I'll close with this. Russia collusion started it, Mr. Chairman, and the targeting and the suppression and the censorship has continued until this point. We need to thoroughly review what the FBI is doing, and at a minimum, I will be allowing FISA to sunset if we're not going to see significant reforms in the agency. I yield back. Good, and you should allow FISA to sunset. But that's exactly what happened. Tom Tiffany, good for you. In that line of questioning, they did interfere. Oh, no, they didn't. There was Russia collusion. No, it was not. It was, it was FBI collusion with the Clinton campaign It was in 2016. It was FBI collusion with the Biden campaign in 2020. And now they've already started with the collusion in 2024. They've already done this because uh, look, look, at what, look at what Hunter got. He got nothing, nothing. They allowed, uh, you know, they're just sitting back. They're literally just sitting back and waiting on the statute of limitations to expire on Hunter's tax returns. And then they'll come along and say, well, yeah, he probably did something bad, but, you know, the, the, the statute of limitations is out and, you know, we can't really go after him now. Of course not. They are protecting the Bidens. Because, you know, if you're a Democrat and you hear that, I mean, look at what's happening. They were flashing, trans people flashing at the White House during the Pride Month celebration. You remember that? Now we got cocaine at the White House. You've got Hunter Biden, an amateur porn star. That's really the only way you can describe him, among other, st other things. But if you look at what's on his laptop, he's a he's a he's a he's a homemade porn star. Don't miss the Charlie James show weekdays three to seven on News Talk 98.9 WORD, the voice of the Carolinas.